Can we just worship in the house and language? Yeah, 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 Lift your hands and begin to worship him, somebody. Begin to give him praise. Speak in tongues. Begin to speak in tongues. Begin to speak in tongues. Le brado suva hi kato yada bila. Le i kanto se mahi grado suva. Linda se akoto yada. Begin to give him praise. 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 La godo so kata bayada. Bra ida so kata mashivala. Rendo so kata kata ilaga. Rendo so ka. Those on prayer line begin to speak in tongues. Those on Facebook begin to speak in tongues wherever you are. Speak in other tongues right now. Charge your spirit. Charge your spirit. Le kato mavila. Ebrado zuna hi katayada. Speak in tongues. Charge your spirit. E la hi la suanive. Rendo su kata. It is time to worship. It is time to worship. Worship him. Lift your hands and worship him. Give him praise. David said, let the lifting up of my hands be like the evening sacrifice to you, O God. Let the lifting up of my hands be like evening sacrifice. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. You are Yahweh. Yeah. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Yeah, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Somebody sing that song. You are Yahweh. Yeah. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Alpha, the Omega. You are Yahweh. Alpha, the Omega. You are Jesus, you are Jesus, Jesus, you are Jesus, you are Jesus, you are Jesus, somebody say, you are Jesus, there's a prayer line, you are Jesus, say it, Alpha, Omega. You are Jesus. You 
Pastor Chris Isaac, you know they use me to play. Oh, in a bed of being a son. Yeah. 
conceive you who are lady. Oh, my conceive you who are another. Oh, my conceive you who are lady. Oh, my conceive you who are another. Oh, my conceive you who are lady. Oh, my conceive you who are another. You are so good. The God of Chris Isaac. 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 
the God of precise, 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 the God of the God of the God of prayer works. The God of prayer works. Ah. The God of prayer life. The God of the global church. The God of great house. and worship him. Call up by Eva Ligera. Emma Swandi Hikarada. Let every man define his God. The resurrected one is my God. The Holy One is my God. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter what I go through. He is my God. Lend together Ibrado Suka, Ibrado Hikato Shivala, 
The glory of the Lord is here. Those on prayer land, the glory of God is there where you are. Wherever you are hearing my voice, the glory of God is where you are. Begin to give him praise right now. Forget yourself and give him praise. Worship him now. Talk to him as a father. Talk to him as your father. Talk to him as your father. Talk to him as your mother. Talk to him as a brother. Talk to him as a lovely sister. Can you talk to him and stop looking around? Can you talk to him right now? He is there to hear you. Unless you talk to him, he will not hear. Daddy, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell him to speak to you through VOG. Tell the Lord to speak to you through VOG. Speak to me. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. I love your name, Lord. I love your word. I love your house. I love the sounds of Zion. There are sounds from Zion. I love to hear the sounds of Zion. Give him praise. Worship him. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Today is our cultural Sunday. It's our cultural Sunday. Thank him. Thank him. Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah. You are our Father. You are our Lord. You are our King. Hallelujah. You are everything to Hallelujah. us. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody shot fire. A blessed morning to you. Can you please be seated? You look so stunning, as stunning this morning, so beautiful in your cultural attire. A blessed morning to you. You're welcome to church. Can you help me welcome somebody by your side? Say a blessed morning to you. You're welcome to church. I celebrate you, Daddy. A blessed morning to you. You're welcome to church. I celebrate the pastorate. A blessed morning to you. You're welcome to church. I celebrate my global family. You're welcome to church. A blessed morning to you. I celebrate the ministers, kings and queens. I celebrate dignities, evangelists, mothers, princes, princesses, kings and queens, viewers all over the world, our first timers. You're welcome to church. May God bless and keep you in the name of Jesus. I hope you are prepared to worship God today in your own dialect. Ibos that are prepared to worship God in their dialect today. Let me hear you shout fire. Yorobas that are ready to worship God in their dialect today. Let me hear you shout fire. You know you are from Igala and you are here to worship God today in your own cultural dialect. Let me hear you shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ah. You know, those people that I call my, my own brothers and sisters, they never come to me. Those are quite them. In soccer, Wale. Are you ready to worship God in your dialect? Oh, yeah. It's a cultural Sunday. Shout fire. You are here. You are here. I've not called your dialect. Igede, Igede. How do, how do you greet in Igede? Igede, Iyo. Igede, Iyo. Igede, Iyo. You are ready to worship God in your language, in your dialect, in your culture. Sound fire! Yes. In the global church too, we have those that speak French. It's not only English. We have people with their different languages in Ghana, uh, Sierra Leone, every other languages. Let all men, let all tongues, let all languages worship him. You are ready in the global church 
to worship God in your own dialect today. Let me hear you shout for yeah, 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 yeah. You know, my daddy pastor at hand is from Owere, and he loves singing this song. Now, I want to sing it the way he used to sing it. I sing it the People from my village will say, Dere chi chi chi, she got a mukwale. I know Enugu will say that too. Dere chi chi chi, she got a mukwale. Oh, Dere chi chi chi, she got a mukwale. If you are saying in Yoruba, how will you say it? He said, The Lord of heavens and sent prayers become done tomorrow for God answers prayers. You know he will answer you in your own language today. Shut fire! There is no language, there is no tongue where our voice is not heard. There is no language, there is no tongue that God does not understand. So in whichever tongue, language you will call him today. In fact, today when a prayer point, you know I'm speaking English so that everybody will understand. If I speak my language, you will not understand. So let's use the English language. But when a prayer point is raised, say it in your language. That is what makes today a very unique Sunday. Yes, ma! When a song is raised, and there is a way you sing it in your dialect, Sing it that way. You are here and you are from you are from um, Ebony State. Sing it in that way. Worship him in your own dialect. A time will come. Get yourself registered. God will hear your voice in your own dialect. If you have not registered your culture, 
Go and meet Pastor Damien. Go and meet Pastor Ngozi. If you have not registered your own culture, don't allow your own language to be slided today. If you can hear me in the global church, let me hear you shout fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, whichever tongue, whichever language, whichever tongue, whichever language, even if it's Aousa, you want to worship him today, please. Let it be registered. He understands all languages. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It is all I need. 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 means the voice of God and is authored by a man of God, Pastor Chris Isaac. God bless you, my Come now, your Come, Choro. Come, Choro. VOG means the voice of God and is authored by a man of God, Pastor Chris Isaac. Oh, God, Daddy, may God bless and keep you for the VOG. May He strengthen you all the way. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 61, verse 5. Isaiah 51, verse. Isaiah 61, verse 6. He says, You will be called priest of the Lord. Daddy, you are the priest of the Lord. He said you'll be called ministers of our God. That is whom you are, a minister of God. He said you will be fed with the treasures of the nations and you will boast in their riches. Did you hear that? Isaiah 51 verse 60, that the Bible says you will be called the priest of the Lord ministers of our God you will be fed with the treasures of the nations and you will boast in their riches he said instead of shame and dishonor you will inherit double portion of prosperity and everlasting joy that is my prayer for you this morning that instead of shame and dishonor you will inherit prosperity double portion of prosperity and everlasting joy yes this is the voice of God this morning this is the word of the Lord for you this morning that you are called you will be called the priest of God because you are called the priest of God the minister of God that you will be fed with the treasures of the nations and you will boast in their riches it doesn't matter what a man feels about it he can never change it that is the decree and the order of God for your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shout fire! VOG this morning says, don't be offended when someone respects what you don't honor. Life is a choice. What you have no regard for what you don't value don't be offended 
when someone regards it. Don't be offended when someone values it. Because life is a choice. There are people that have no regard for a system. They have no respect for a, you know, for, for, a, for an authority. They have no regard for someone, for something. And sometimes they want to make every other person to see reasons with them. And understand why they don't honor that. Understand why they dishonor that very system. Ah, are you easy where you're going? Forget it or me, 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 me. For them to order me, I forget it. You're the one they can tell that to. Ah, so you go, oh, you're starting mobbing church. Forget it. Why can't they employ cleaners? Sanctuary keeper, must you clean the church? What you don't honor. Don't be offended that someone else is honoring it. He says, don't be offended when someone respects what you dishonor. He said, life is a choice. Our text is taken from Mark chapter 14, verse 4. Mark 14, verse 4, he says, Some of those on the table expressed their anger and said to each other, Why this waste of precious ointment? You know, at this table, Jesus was the one that was invited. And he took some people with him. And these are the men that he called. He chose them from them. He chose them, you know, from among the least among men. People of no value. He gave them a place in life. When he called them, he started teaching them. But, you know, someone will say, well, what are you even talking about? Do you know when Jesus left, when Peter and John stood and began to speak to the people, they marveled at their intelligence. They said, these people were nobody. He said, how come? How come they speak with so much wisdom? He said, were they not all these illiterates? Were they not these are fishermen? that had no formal education how come they speak with such boldness and wisdom the bible said ah even at that time it came to it dawned on them they remember they have been with jesus to tell you that all the time they were with jesus he was schooling them he was educating them he was training them he took them to places of honor where they would have never had a place to sit in life. If they ever get opportunity to attend such occasion, maybe they will put them to be washing plates somewhere. But Jesus brought them to the table. And at this table, a woman came and began to cry at his feet. The scripture says she wet his feet with her tears. And with her hair, she began to clean it. And after that, she broke her life savings, the alabaster bus, at his feet and was wiping it with her hair. And the people at the table, who were those at the table? The people that Jesus brought with him at the table, they became angry. There was indignation. There was, you know, disagreement. They couldn't take it anymore. They couldn't it was boiling within them they have to voice it out and say why this waste to them it was a waste it was not an honor don't be offended when people or when someone respects what you don't honor life is a choice praise the lord the same thing happens in life Someone you pick from somewhere and begin to feed and make him and now you feel like oh we are the same table you know we are colleagues I can freely express my mind I have the right to tell you don't I, they will even, they won't tell you that they have the right but they will bring it to you don't I have the right to express myself then they leave it for you to either say you don't have a right or to tell them that you have a right. Life is a choice. Don't be offended when someone respects what you dishonor. Praise God. Oh, Jesus, help me this morning because I have a very limited time.
the question to ask in the text is this is the oil theirs that oil is it their own did they buy it with their money it wasn't theirs the answer is no is the table theirs they didn't prepare the table the invitation they were they had no place he just called them to follow him and they were there instead of honoring him they stood there to withstand him they were there to argue they were there to correct they were there to rebuke they were there to fought him hallelujah praise the lord He said, is the temple dears? The answer is no. So why the question? It is all about someone's honor. It is all because someone honored whom they didn't honor. Mark the word, those on the table, not those outside the table. Those on the table, those that he brought to the table, familiarity, now they are the same. Uh -uh. After all, we are sitting on the same table, are we not colleagues? They forgot where he picked them from. They forgot how life was dealing with them because before he picked them up. They were fishermen. Their whole life depends on daily fishing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Those on the table express their anger and said to one another, Why this waste? Have you noticed that there are people who get angry with other people's gifts? There are people who get angry. Why are they giving him so much gift? Haven't you seen people say, Uh-uh, this gift, why are they giving him? You already have more. Why should you give him with all the money he has? Is, what? Haven't you heard people say that? Many times. He said, why are you contributing to give him a gift? After all, he has more than enough. You should be considering on using it to feed the poor. That was the same thing they did to Jesus. Uh, is it not Pastor Chris? He has more than enough. Why are you, why do you want to gift him again? It's his birthday and so what? We have people that need the money in the church. That was the same thing. Oh, he is the president. And it is his celebration. Why must you give the president a gift? He owns everything. So why will you honor him with a gift? There are people that need it more. Life is a choice. For you not to see reasons to honor someone. Don't discourage. Don't get offended. Are the people that see or that saw the reason. Or that saw the people who notice that there is a reason. People that see the reason to honor this particular person, don't get offended with them. Because life is a choice. Don't make your enemy other people's enemy. Don't make your choice other people's choice. Live by your own opinion and don't influence others against a system you don't honor. That is called betrayal. That is called treason. Sabotage. Whatever you can call it. It is heinous. It's offensive. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. He said, mark the word, those on the table and not those outside the table. Those on the table express their anger and say to one another, why this waste? Have you noticed that there are people who get angry with other people's gifts? They are not happy when others celebrate you. Yet they have never celebrated you. Uh -uh. Why are you even dancing like this? Stop dancing. I, really, I think you are dancing too much. This is your celebration. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> this is your gift. is becoming too much. They have not celebrated you. Sometimes they question you. What did you even do to them? Chairman Jemono. Chairman Jemono. 
What did you do to them that they're even celebrating you this way? What did you do? Ah. Before you know it, they say, mm. they always choose who they want to celebrate. They're always partial, you know, they know those they used to call. They know the, you have never celebrated me. Don't stop others from celebrating me. That is what VOG is saying this morning. There are people that are angry when others are celebrated. When those, even those they have not celebrated, are being celebrated, they will still fight against it. They will fight against it. Monsieur, monsieur, they question it. Why? To them is a waste. Amen. They complain of how you are uh, honored, how you look or testify. Jesus was in Peter's house, not welcomed, not celebrated, and not honored. But they complained when someone else honored him. He was in Peter's house to hear his mother-in-law. Even he questioned Peter. He said, I have been here. None of you gave me water to wash my feet. None of you gave me a napkin to clean my feet. He said, this woman has done more than you have ever done. He told them that this thing he, she has done is for his burial. He had made them to understand the spiritual significance of what the woman did. They were so myopic. They were so carnally minded. They couldn't see beyond their optical vision. They could not see beyond their optical vision. They could not see beyond what their physical eyes can behold. Times, there are things you don't understand. Whatever you don't understand, especially in the house of God. Especially where it concerns the ministers of God. Pastors, when you don't understand, keep quiet. Don't discourage others. Don't make your opinion so relevant. Don't break the church. Don't scatter the sheep because of your own opinion. Jesus made them to understand the significance of what the woman has done. Whereas they were looking at the physical aspect. Oh, she was wasting the oil. But Jesus said she has anointed him for his burial. None of them could do that. None of them could pick that in the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, many times you see people say, ah, why are pastors living this large? Why are pastors like this? People have a way they want to see pastors. I don't know how people want to see pastors. If the pastor is poor, oh, he's a church rat. Nobody should marry a pastor with a swear to God. If the pastor is rich, oh, are they are preaching prosperity. What are they doing? What are they doing with them? Now look at Isaiah 61 verse 6. He said, you will be called priests of the Lord, ministers of our God. He said, you will be fed with the treasures of the nations. You didn't hear that. They don't used to open this place in the Bible. You will be fed with the treasures of the nations and you will boast in their riches. And now when the pastors talk on the people, yeah, they are always boasting. He said he will boast in their riches. Whether you like it or not. Praise the Lord. So, they have to measure the worth of the oil that was broken at his feet. It was a year, you know, a lep this wages, a whole year's salary. To them, a woman have to offer her whole year's salary. She has to sow her whole year's salary. What she worked for from January to December, to people, it was a waste. To feeble minds, it was a waste. To ignorant minds, it was a waste. 
It was stupidity. But Jesus said, she has done this for my burial. It had a spiritual significance, which they could not see. Which they could not see. Which they could not see. If you are here, you are among the people that in the social media, you will see bloggers condemning a pastor, condemning a minister, a woman of God, a man of God, and you will go there and comment and say, yes, so, yes, so, I don't know where we are going. Be very, very careful. Be very careful. A man you don't know because somebody brought something on the social media. You have not even verified, even if you have verified the the, 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 the fact even if you caught him red handed you are not the one that called him oh. he is not answerable to you he is not answerable so that you don't place yourself face to face with God You know, when I was in secondary school, one of us uh, teachers, uh, C. Aruke teacher taught, he said, no matter what a pastor does, don't ever speak against a man of God. I was just, aware, it was in a class, C. Aruke class. He said, a man of God, you can see him at this time. You say, oh, he did this. The next minute, he might have, even in his mind, Lord, please have mercy. You don't know he had made peace with God in the next second and you are busy criticizing him. You will put yourself in place to fight God that has called him. He is not answerable to you. He said, why the waste? Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Every day they were with Jesus, they never poured an oil on him. But they were angry when someone else did so. When someone else does what you have not done, don't be angry, but appreciate them. That's it, hey, forget it. They are just saying that because they want them to, ah, forget it. I know them. They just want them to notice them. Do your own and let us notice you too. Appreciate them. Do your own and we will notice you. We notice that sister. We notice that brother because of what she is doing. Or because of what he is doing. If you are so offended with it, you are very angry with it. Ah, why is mommy T commending it? Why? But do your own and I will commend you. Appreciate others. Hallelujah. Appreciate others. Don't fight them. Don't fight them. Ah, in the altar every day, give money, give money. You are not giving anything. No. But you tell others. You are angry because you know you were not giving. Those who are giving knows what they are getting. So they don't mind. Because they are getting a basket full. Pressed down. Shaking together. Running over. That is what they know they are getting. And that is why they keep get giving. You that feel like you cannot give, you are not getting anything. Why are you offended? Why the anger? Jesus said something. He said, wherever this scripture will be read, what this woman has done will be mentioned. Till today, we are talking about what she did. And we are talking about those who got offended. Do the right thing and we will talk about it. Praise the Lord. If you can hear me, shout fire. Be careful. When you reprove or when you struggle, when you argue and when you fought and fight, you're men of God. You may not have a spiritual backup, but he has. When Jesus told them the spiritual effect of what they have done, they realized that they were standing. 
on their own. And that was the time Judas left. Some people, when you bring up their issues to the open, betrayers will always take a walk. They will always leave. Jesus said before everybody, one of you, one of you, one of you, one of you, one of you will betray me. One of you, not just you have already betrayed me. Even as we are eating together, ah, he said, who, who? He said, who I will give? Everybody came and started drinking of that cup. And they were asking, am I the one? He made it general, but some people picked offense. And say, why will he make such a comment? And they walk out. Be careful of your decisions. Be careful. Don't set yourself against the church. Don't set yourself against your man of God. When someone else gives what you have not given, don't be jealous. Support them. When you are jealous, you express the spirit of witchcraft. When you are jealous, you are not giving. You don't want others to give. You are the Confucianist of this generation. They are Juanias. Are Juanias of this generation. The problem of the generation. Praise the Lord. It is sad to see that those on the table with us, those close to you, are most times the ones who complain when the outsiders celebrate and honor us. Most times it is those that are very close. Those who have become pali. Those who have become members. Those who feel they have, they have grounds to instruct and to condemn. Praise the Lord. Amen. He said, it is sad for us to see that it's even those that are very close that are complaining, not those that are outside. It happens in our test in the time of Jesus. And it's still happening today. This happens in the church. It happens in the family, also in the office. In the family, you will see that the family has a need. They will share it. Oh, this family, we have a need. We need 100,000 naira. Or we need 100,000, uh, let's say 1 million naira. Everybody, please, maybe you are 10 in the family. Give us 100,000 naira each. And you know that everybody will be struggling to see how they can raise that money. And one person will say, oh, let me offset this bill. And give, allow, you know, take away this stress from my brethren. Instead of the brothers and sisters to call and say, hey, thank you for taking away this dress. They'll say, mm, uh, uh, are you giving to show that you have money? They don't have to contribute their own quarter. You have paid for them. The thank you you get is criticism. I'm telling you, it happens in the families. Hey, what did, did I ask him to pay? Yet you did not pay. Everybody's traveling. You cannot contribute for the tea fair. Somebody gave you a vehicle to go home and he had, to show us that he has money or he has car. It, they would never, and they would say it where every other person would start thinking in their direction. They are very, very crafty in their ways. Very, very skillful in their ways. They know how to change every scenario. That if you are not very, very alert... You will agree with them. Be careful when they come to you. Be careful. The Bible says, such we are chambers. He said, they reproved Moses. Then, they crept into houses and deceived silly women. Led in with sin. Led away onto diverse ways. Be careful when they come to you. They have no regard or respect for things they should honor, for their men of God, for a system, yet they are angry when others respect what they don't respect. Somebody say, not me. not me. 
Say, not me. It also happened in our workplaces. It happens. When you are promoted for your good works, they question the promotion. Yet, what you are doing, they are not doing it. They call it eye service. Amen? In our text, a woman considered to be unclean, a woman considered to be a prostitute, did what the disciples could not do, and they got angry. A woman that was seen as unclean, did what the righteous and the saints. After all, they are already at the same table with Jesus. So you classify them as saints, angels of God. Yet, they were not spiritually alert to notice and to know what they should have done. And the time they should have done it. Another person sees the opportunity that they missed to do what they're supposed to do. And they are angry. Yet they are sent. When you think you are standing, be careful lest you fall. Why were they angry? They were angry not because the women did wrong, but because someone else did what they have the power to do, but refused to do it. They have the power to do it, but to them, they cannot do it. Then they became dogs at manger. Don't eat and don't allow others to eat. I will not do it, and someone else should not do it. Amen? We are talking about building the church. Oh, you see this money, I can never bring it out. That is fine. That is your choice. That is your opinion. Nobody is fighting you. But the problem with you is going to houses and stopping those who have the heart to do it. Don't be offended when people respect or someone else respects what you dishonor. It's a life is a choice. He said, this is the trouble with many. This is the problem with so many people. Not this, when you refuse to do something, God will send someone else to do it. There is a will and a purpose of God for every one of us. The day God brought you into this church, the day you clock into the uh, altar of fire global, you connected to the, to, the, the, to the global church, there is a purpose. There is a reason. And if you are there thinking that you can only be a number, that when we connect, we see participants, we have 100 participants, yet you are not participating in anything. You have to rethink. There is a reason. Praise Jesus. There is a reason. And if you are here and you know what you are supposed to do and you don't want to do it, it is not a problem. God can even raise stones. But God forbid that stones will take my place. Not me. He didn't say that. Not me. But God can even raise stones as sons. God can raise outsiders and they will be pillars. You are a partner. What are you partnering? Where well, you cannot defend the church. So in what partnership are you? You are a minister here. And you are ministering against the church. Why are you called a minister? When you fail to do what you are supposed to do. God can use even children. He uses the thing you call nothing. To prove that those who call themselves wise are actually foolish. Go to the engine room. You will see children streaming life. There is no one God cannot use. When you are obedient and you are willing, he will use you. When you are puffed up and you think, eh, forget it. They, you, can, they can, you can do nothing without me. I am the one in church. Without me, the church cannot move. Ah. From the time of John the Baptist, this, you see this, this kingdom of God does what? 
I'm telling you. It suffers issues. There have been challenges. Even the gate of hell, Jesus said, cannot stop the church. The gate of hell cannot stop the church. So who is a man? You say you are a man, you cannot work for God. He will choose children. And children, you will watch it and see that children will be functioning in your ways. In the way where you're supposed to have functioned. Praise God. Can you not say not to me? No one will take my place. When I rise to the mountain top, no power can stop me. As I take my place in life, no altar can stop me. Have you taken your place in this altar of fire? And what is stopping you? What is that voice? What is that tongue that is stopping you from doing what you are supposed to do? The scripture says that every weapon fashioned against us will do what? Shall be what? Uh, shall what? And every tongue that rises against us is what? On that word, I stand in the name of Jesus. Every tongue that is stopping the great house, every tongue that is stopping the altar of fire, every tongue that is stopping the global church, let it be twisted. In the name of Jesus, every tongue against Pastor Chris Isaac, let it be twisted. In the name of Jesus, the tongue of man the tongue of women in the east, in the south, in Nigeria, in South Africa, in wherever, in America, wherever they are, every tongue speaking against the church, speaking against Pastor Chris Isaac, I command the hands of angels to twist their tongues, 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 twist their tongues in the name of Jesus. When you fail to do what you are supposed to do, God will use another man, another person to do it. The prostitute gave her oil, but the saints, the righteous, those who are colleagues with Christ, they gave their anger. They poured their anger. Don't criticize someone whom you have never celebrated or persecute someone who is celebrating someone you've never celebrated. Don't criticize somebody you have never celebrated. And don't persecute another person that is celebrating whom you have never celebrated. You can't inherit anger. You, do, you can't pass on your enmity with, to someone else. And if you're here, somebody somewhere is telling you, don't do this, don't do that. Don't inherit another person's battle law. Don't be jealous of someone who honors whom and what you never honored. That is the spirit of witchcraft. Say not me. Say not me. They will not do it. They will not allow others to do it. That is the character of a witch. Not me. Can we please, can we please stand to our feet? Can we please stand to our feet? Daddy, I decree that prayer again before we take our confession. He said, you will be called the priest of the Lord. Isaiah 61 verse 6. And the minister of our God. He said, you will be fed with the treasures of the nations. It doesn't matter what a man does, a woman. That is the word of the Lord. He said, you will boast in their riches. Instead of shame and dishonor. You will inherit a double portion of prosperity and everlasting joy. In the name of the living Jesus. Amen. Please, please repeat after me. Can you please repeat after me? Say, I am cultured to no value. 
Honor and respect. And I give it. Now let, let, let's, let's read it with a better understanding. Say, I am cultured to know value and honor and respect and I give it. Say, I am not on the table to despise the table. But to honor it. Say amen. amen. Can we can we can we say that with a better understanding? I am not on the table to despise the table, but to honor it. Shout amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. Amen. Put your hands for Jesus Christ, somebody. If you are blessed, put your hands for Jesus Christ. Please let me see that. God bless you. Jet me there, please increase my mic and be blessed, please. Hallelujah. God bless you, Mommy Chikusa, for blessing us this morning in a special way. Amen. Somebody, are you blessed? Don't be offended. Don't be angry. When somebody does what? Respects what you refuse to honor. That is the spirit of what? Witchcraft. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be offended when somebody respects what you refuse to honor. Please, all classes should join us. Please. Amen. It's so important. Momichi, God bless you. You know, they began to criticize the gift. And they refuse to give their own gift. Do you know that somebody close to you can stop you from fulfilling your own destiny? Because they will not fulfill their own destiny. Somebody close to you can stop you from being happy because they are not happy. So they want you to be like... I called the teenagers yesterday and I was talking to them. I said, don't allow friends who are spoiled to force you to be spoiled are you hearing me don't allow somebody who disrespects the husband to teach you and to force you to live like that are you hearing me somebody don't say he's my best friend if your best friend will lead you to hell or to live a different lifestyle, separate from that person. Amen. In short, when you are growing, it is better not to have a friend. Because you don't know what, friend, what friendship is all about. Is it not true? When you grow, you make friends. By that time, you might have seen how the world is. But once you are still growing... You don't know what friendship is all about. Amen. Very important. Father, we thank you for your word. Those on prayer line, can they hear us clearly? Is our voice clear? Can we have a feedback? All right, very clear. God bless you. God bless you, the great house, the global church. God bless you wherever you are in the world. It's our Sunday service. Tell somebody to join us. Tell somebody to watch. Tell somebody to share. Tell somebody to participate and be blessed. Anytime you are with us, your life will never remain the same. Don't allow anybody to discourage you. Don't allow anything to discourage you. We are a spiritual war. There's a spiritual warfare going on. Fight your way through. Are you hearing me, somebody? Tell yourself, I must be healthy. Insist that you must be alive. Don't allow anybody to take you out of this world. This world is sweet. Are you hearing me? Somebody say, this world is sweet. I know, I know it's somewhere in your mouth. 
Say this word is sweet. The way you are saying it, you don't mean it. Say this word is sweet. Let's start this way. Anytime you want to eat, whatever you ask, start saying this. And the sweetness of the word will come to you. Because we've been trained to say this life is hard, right? And anytime we say it, Satan will say amen. All right? And then we want life to be easy for us. Let's start saying that this life is sweet. This life is easy. Let's see. Are you hearing me? When they ask you, how are you doing? You say, my life is cool. My life is great. My life is the best. Amen. Satan doesn't want us to say it. Let's learn how to say it from today. Everything is okay. Amen. Say, so I'm blessed. God bless you all for coming. Today is our cultural Sunday, right? Did you forget? Did you forget? You did not forget. All right. For not forgetting, be blessed the more. We'll be going to the global church right now. We hand it over to our pastor, our global church pastor, Pastor Joy, for the quotes. And then from that, we have our VOG recap. Pastor Joy, are you ready? A blessed morning to you and the global church family. Can they hear me? Are they connected? All right, over to you, Pastor Joy. God bless you. Fire. Yes, ma, very clear, very clear.
is extrapolated from the VOG Voice of God of March 27th, 2024. And the topic, be grateful to God and express your gratitude to man. Express your gratitude to man. The best way to serve the God you don't see. Try it. Yes. Be grateful to God and express your gratitude to men and women. The best way to serve the God you don't see. Mala God. Number one quotes my dad wrote. Expressing your gratitude to men and women or those who have blessed you is not a human worship, but a heart filled with love and thanksgiving. Number two, the VOG maintains that when something good happens to you, stop saying that God, oh, let others know who God used. Because the God you see and know is the man or woman he has used to bless you. Let others know about it. Let others know that God, the VOG emphasizes. When God, when God blesses you, the VOG maintains, when someone, something good happens to you, stop saying, now God, now God, oh, let others know, let others know who God has used, because the God you see and know is that man or woman he has used to bless you. Let people know about yes, that God. Yes, my daddy. Yes, my daddy. Let people know. That is what Pastor Chris does. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My dad says, don't join the club or group of those who see no reason why they should be grateful. He said, no. When somebody gives you something, be grateful. When somebody gives you something, be grateful, the VRG maintains. The VRG continues in number four and says, Many, when suffering in pain or affliction, promises heaven and earth to God. If only they can be healed. If only God will bless me and when they are healed or blessed. They say it was a coincidence, child. That's where the, the pastor prophet prayed or not, the healing would have taken place, child. This is the disposition of a lot of people. The VNG continues in number five. Some don't even remember to redeem the pledges they made to God while they were in pain. After they have been blessed or healed, don't be like that. The VOG maintained. Some don't even remember to redeem the pledges, the vows, the seed they made to God while they were in pain and suffering. After they are healed, after they are blessed. The VOG says, please don't be like that. Don't be like that. Number six today, the VOG says, in the name of Jesus, whatsoever situation you are in right now, be grateful to God. Be grateful to God. It would have been worse, the VOG maintains. And I'm ending with the confession today as my perfect number seven. We, the great house, we, the global church, 
We are not ungrateful people. We are not ungrateful people. And we are the seed of destruction. We have virtue. Our hearts our heart of gratitude. Thanking the Lord in all things. Oh, global church, join me and say we are not ungrateful. We, we are not ungrateful people. I'm not ungrateful. We are not ungrateful. In Jesus' name. I am not ungrateful. I am not ungrateful. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It's grateful. Daddy, I thank you because you are not ungrateful person. That is what you do. That is the life you lead. When somebody does one, you come and talk about it like they gave you 20. And some people take advantage of that personality. But listen, listen. I told you your blessing will talk your enemies. He will talk them in the morning. He will talk them in the morning. In the name of the living Jesus. He nothing less. This is just a tip of an iceberg. God bless you. Speak up to Sunday, Dad. I hand over to you in the name of the living Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody shall fire. God bless you. When God blesses you from heaven, let somebody know the channel he used on earth to make it a reality. Are you hearing me? When God blesses you from heaven, you did not go to heaven to collect it. Yes, sir. You collected it through men. Tell other people about that man or woman. It is not human worship. It is you being grateful. Did you hear that? They told us, don't talk about it. I need a, a different sound. That it is God that did it. It is wrong. God did it through who? When God thank you, blesses you, let us know from where. Are you hearing me? If it's through your neighbor, let us know. If it's through your husband, talk about it. If it's through a member, talk about it. That is sharing your testimony. Hallelujah. That is what Pastor Joy is preaching to us through the VOG this morning. Hallelujah. There are most of you, most of us, maybe there is somebody before when the person cooks, bring food to you. Have you told your children about that person, that neighbor? Now that you are eating well, you've forgotten. Is it not true? Because the person is still where he or she used to be. There are people in my list now that Isaac told me never to forget them. And I asked him, what did they do? He said, this one gave me water when I had no water. This one gave me shelter when I had no shelter. 
This one gave me clothes when I had no clothes. And I thought that he was overdoing it. But now I find out is a grateful heart. Kings and queens, if you live like this, God will never forget you or your children. Are you hearing me? God will not what? He will never forget you. No matter where life has pushed you, no matter the mistake you have made in this life. Are you listening? He will always pick you out and give you mercy. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. May this be your portion. May this be your glory. I don't understand your amen. May this be your testimony. Even now in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, Pastor Joy. God bless you. God bless you for that. Today is our cultural Sunday. And those who have presentation, please are going to do that after our ministration. Amen. Do we have our VOG recap from the global church? If we do, please let's take it. Do we have that? Give us a signal. Do we have VOG recap? All right, if we don't have it, all right. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Amen. As Mamichi was ministering, the Lord was ministering to me. Few things. First, I told us during the prayer works, we should pray for our way beloved uh, a father, because he's a father in Nigeria, but an actor. We need to pray for Pet Edoche. We need to pray for him. I don't give prophecy because I want to give prophecy. I pray because I have seen. Amen. So I want you, you know, he's somebody we all love, right? He's a father. He's an honorable father. Amen. And please, he's in his own field, a master. Please, let's pray for him. Let's pray for him. Let's pray for him. When I say pray for him, you should know why I'm saying pray for him. I've told you before now. Please, let's pray for him. I, I saw him, he missed a step and fell. And there was a different news. So please, let's pray for him. Let's pray for that father. Let's pray for him, wherever you are. You're not praying. I'm not hearing your voice. Because I didn't call your brother. That's why you're not praying. He's our brother, he's our father. Let's pray for him. God will give him strength, more life, more energy. Those in the global church, wherever you are, let's pray for our father. Yes, he's a renowned actor. He has promoted a lot of good things on the screen. Even though he's getting, he's aging. Let's pray for him. He's an icon. Let's pray for him. Let's pray for Pet Edoche. Let's pray for him. Father, we thank you. Father, we decree more strength. You asked me to pray for him, and you opened my eyes to see something. Lost strength, strength, more life in the name of Jesus Christ. And then let's pray for the movie industry in Nigeria. Let's pray for the movie industry in Nigeria. Let me go pray for our actors. Let me go pray. That industry has been under attack for years. Let me go pray. Let me go pray. Let's rebuke every hand of the enemy. Every eyes of the enemy. Whatsoever that is not of God, let's rebuke it. In the name of Jesus Christ. And somebody say amen. amen. Did I hear you say amen? amen. Why not say it louder? Amen. When we say something, according to the scripture, if the gate of hell cannot stop the church, who is the man to stop the church? If the gate of hell cannot prevail against the church, cannot prevail means to defeat. If the gates of hell cannot defeat the church, no force on earth can defeat the church. Are you hearing me? If the gate of hell cannot stop the church, nobody can stop the church. Nobody can defeat the church. Are you hearing me, somebody? It's very important. The church of Jesus Christ, that is the fight. And I told you, something is happening in the air. 
something is happening in the air. I told you last time, um, was it on Sunday, that I saw aliens throwing stones against the earth. Did you hear that? I told you on Monday, right? And it was hitting where? No, no, I told you that it hit the ground. That's what I told you. It's on the ground. I thought they were throwing it against the sea. Humanity. Schools. Everything that moves, right? But they did not hit anybody. Mm -hmm. It hit the ground. It's not what I told you. That's what I told you. That's what I saw. Praise God. That was when? That was on Sunday. And is it on Monday or Tuesday? You heard about the earthquake in Taiwan. Am I correct? And they said that those that died, died of a falling rock. Then you also, did you hear about the news? The one in U.S. Just a movement. Something moved. Praise God. Because Something it. moved. 4. Point what? Is it 4.2? 4. 4.7. The one in Taiwan was 4. 9. 4.8. 4. what? 4.8. Yeah. 4. The U.S. 4.8. 4. 4.8 what? Huh? Magnitude. 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 The earthquake was 4.8 magnitude. The force of it. The one in Taiwan was what? No, that should be up to, it's up to nine. The one in Taiwan. Huh? So, these signs, Jesus says, in the end time, there will be earthquake in diverse places. Do you know when there's an earthquake, sometimes the house enters inside. People are trapped, right? Earth means, earthquake means that the earth is shaking and then turning itself. Then the issue is, what happens to the earth for it to quake? If this thing will fall, that means I will push it down, right? If something will happen to the earth, for the earth to shake, that means that is something. Amen. We need to pray. And that's why we're praying from, I declared prayer from when? From 1st of April to 21st of April. And within from 1st to 6th, these things are happening already. Even before we declared the prayer, you also heard what happened in the Baltimore Bridge. Am I correct? The cargo ship hit the bridge and the bridge did what? And people were on it. Think about this. The first one was a heat. I chose my words to tell you that something will hit the earth. Right? Earthquake also was a heat. The one in Taiwan. The one in U.S. was a heat. I have not read that there is a casualty or somebody that died. The mercy of God prevailed. But that is not the end. A lot of things will happen. There's a spirit that is moving around the earth. So our place is to pray. Our place is to do what? Amen. You are the only one I worship. You are the only one I run to. You are the only one I bow to. Is a bube mo. Okay, mo. Okay, mo. Ibube mo. Okay, mo. Ibube mo. You are the only one I worship. You are the only one I run to. You are the only one I worship. Chetara mezi te Ibu bemo 
Hallelujah. There's a need for us to pray. Please, wherever you are, start praying for the church always, every day. Even though you're not fasting, let prayer be in your mouth. Are you hearing me? Remember I told you during cross over night that the spirit of death will be on the increase. I told that many people will die in the year 2024 than we've ever seen. I told you, right? I told you. So we're going to pray. So if there are going to be such things, imagine what will happen. There will be destruction of economy and the rest. Amen. Please, we need to always pray. Hallelujah. Let me be on our feet and worship the Lord, somebody. Just thank him. Just thank him. If there's any woman pregnant here, please come out. I'm using somebody's prayer to pray for you. If there's any woman pregnant, come out. I need to pray for you. But I'm seeing a woman. Hold on. I'm seeing a woman. I don't know where you are. She's pregnant. And it's time to give birth. But there's a problem. So, I want to use somebody as a point of contact to reach out to the person. Eh? Can you do what? Standing up for somebody. The person I'm talking about is pregnant already, is about to give birth, and that's a problem. Your younger sister. Make sure it's a younger sister. The person I'm saying is far. He's not around here. She's not in Lagos. You know what? As I'm seeing, I'm seeing the tummy like this. The child is doing this way. That's what I'm seeing. As Mamichi was ministering, your younger sister is, you know, where? Who else? The person, that's a problem. That's an issue. Is there an issue? Is there an issue? Is there an issue with the pregnancy? What's the issue? You. Okay. Can, can I? Is due. Is there an issue? Is due, but it never gives. The one I'm talking about, no, that's, she's not the one. Hey Amen. Come and start for your younger sister. The person I'm talking about, that's an issue already. Hey Amen. You can just stand for your sister. Don't, don't worry. We are putting your hands up. You know, don't, just talk. Don't take pr your daughter. Is there any problem? No. No. Stay there. So that we will not waste the, the bullets. Are you hearing me? The person I'm talking about, that's an issue already. Somebody on prayer line. Is there any problem with the pregnancy? Go to your seat. Hallelujah. Is bridge. Yes, and are, she's due this month. No, it's okay. Step out your hands. Step out your hands. Begin to pray. Because I'm seeing the child suffocating. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this child this way. Pray. Begin to pray somebody. And let me tell you, I don't know whether it's your sister, but the child I'm seeing is a baby boy. <laughs> eh? Scan gave her a baby boy. The boy I'm seeing, the person I'm seeing is a boy. That's what Scan gave. That's what Scan said. Yes, sir. Then, then I believe that is your sister. Let's pray. Let's pray. Because the child I'm seeing is a baby boy, and this boy is, if we don't pray, this boy will suffocate. Church, are you praying? Open your mouth and begin to pray. You're not praying, no. You see the way you are doing this. Pray, you will not pray. When things happen, you think Pastor Chris will see how to pray it out. Pray. The child I'm seeing is a boy, a baby boy. Pray. Talk to the Lord. Begin to pray. The child that is breached. In the name of Jesus Christ, be turned. Lando Sokata Baila. Okay, more. Okay, more. Okay, more. Okay, more. Ebu be 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 more. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Somebody shall fire. 
Stand up, but I'm going to pray for you. The mother's here. You know you've stopped giving birth. You are true. All right, please come forth. Mama, are you not true? Are you not true? Mama, are you? Are you not true? If you know you are true in giving birth, come, come. You are true in giving birth. Come, come there. Can you hold your hands around her? You are praying for the sister. Oh, just few of you, not all of you. Oh, <laughs> this one will be. So that you are... Don't tell them what to do. <laughs> just, just stay at the middle, that's all. All of you should pray for her. Mothers, pray, 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 pray. Mumichi, come and put your hand on the tummy. You are praying for the sister, is, you know, worry. You know, worry. I wish she's watching us right now. And then the baby will turn, will no longer be breached. Ashako to bagidagada. Okay, more. Okay, more. Okay, more. Mothers, you are losing her right now. Your voice is heard right now. Because it's more spiritual than physical. Lando Sukataba. Ebra do Kiara Hitsako. Linda Ka. Those on prayer line. Mothers on prayer line. Join them as they pray. Join them. Mothers on prayer line. Join them as they pray. Linda Soka. This baby boy will come forth. We are going to see this child. On this altar, we we'll show this child. On this altar, we we'll showcase this child. On this altar, we we'll show this child. We are fighting for this boy now. On this altar, we show this child. This baby boy, this baby boy, this baby boy. We are going to show this baby boy life and direct on the screen. We are fighting now. We are fighting now. God has searched out. This boy will be seen. This boy will be alive. This boy will be born. Mothers, raise your voice. Raise your voice, mothers. Begin to pray, mothers. Begin to pray, mothers. Begin to pray, mothers. Alakato Shava. Let your sister give birth. Let her give birth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shall fire. Yes. Somebody give her water. Give her water. Because whatever you are doing now, your sister will do it. Give her water. Mommy, give her water. As you drink this. So will your sister take a water. And this baby will no longer be breached. Father, I decree, Lord, as we deliver this child here, this child will be in her hand. And this child will be alive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Yes, Joshua will be born. Yeah, Joshua will be born. And nothing will stop it. Joshua will be born. By the Spirit of God. And let me tell you something. This child will grow and watch this video. And believe that God is powerful. Somebody shall fire. It is done. God bless you. It is done. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Amen. Hallelujah. What we just did now. Will you find it in John 3, 16? It is called ministerial gift. Yes. Amen. And Satan does not like it. Because Satan wants me to just preach John 3, 16. And you will go home with your trouble. But for the gift aspect, don't do that. And we'll rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I'm seeing somebody also. I don't know where you are. There's a kind of growth here. A kind of growth. A kind of growth at your neck and this just started anyway it's been there but what I mean now is being a concern whether it's your sister I don't know whether it's your brother I don't know I don't know what this person is but there's there's much flesh coming up and growing around the neck around the neck wherever you are in the world I decree in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The same way it started, let it go back. Because this will be a problem when they say 
this will be surgery. That is when the trouble will come. But Father, it will not get to that stage. We decree healing, and so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shall fire. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. these are the things the Lord showed me when Mommy G was ministering. Please, let's go to the Bible. Go to the book of Psalm 102, verse 13. The book of Psalms 102, 102, verse 13. Amen. Somebody said, Time to rejoice. Time to rejoice. Did you say it? Say, It's my time to rejoice. Say it loud and clear. Say it loud and clear. Say, It's my time to rejoice. Those on prayer line say it. Those on, those on Facebook say it. Those in the great house say it. Young man, come. Last two weeks, I saw you crying in my dream. And I was praying for you. I don't know why you are crying. No, Nidan, where you are, okay? Oh, okay, you can come here, Nidan. Come, talk to God. Talk to him. I saw you crying in my dream. And I went to you and I was praying for you. And when I asked for you, I didn't see you. Just talk to God, okay? Talk to him. Time to and not to cry. Praise God. Time to say it's my time to rejoice. Time to rejoice. It's time for my family to rejoice. Hallelujah. How many of us you want to rejoice? Do you want to rejoice? Those on prayer line, do you want to rejoice? Yes. If you want to rejoice, wave your hands unto God. Wave your hands. You want to rejoice, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, joy will fill your heart. Testimony will come to you. That family crying, you will rejoice now. I decree joy will come to you. Every good thing will come to me. Somebody say, every good thing come to me. Say, every good thing come to me. Son, whatever it is, I decree it is over. In Jesus' name. Go back to your seat. Every good thing come to me. Somebody say it. Say, every bad thing leave my life alone. Every bad thing Leave my family alone. Every bad thing. Leave my ministry alone. Every good thing on earth. Come to Pastor Chris. The son of Isaac. The servant of the Lord in the global church. Did you call your name or my name? So you love me that much. <laughs> Every good thing. Come to Pastor Chris. You are calling my name again, right? God bless you for calling my name. Every good thing come to Chris. Wait, why are you not calling my name? Every good thing go to Pastor Chris. You are being selfish now. Every good thing go to Chris. Oh, uh -uh. I'm hearing different names. Oh, are we dragging good things? Are we dragging it? Say yes, sir. Are we dragging good things? Eh? Allow me to collect first. So I can give to you later. Eh? You don't want it? Eh? I don't want us to fight. Oh. I don't want us to fight because of good things. Every good thing. Come to Pastor Chris. Wait, wait, wait. I don't get it. I will stop this message. Oh. Eh? So, you want good things? Are you sure? You like good things? Do you want good things? Then receive good things! Since you want good things, I decree and declare every good thing. Let it come to you. Those on prayer line, every good thing, let it come to your family. Those on Facebook, 
Every good thing, let it come to you. Anywhere you are watching me from, anywhere you are hearing me from, in today's service, today's cultural Sunday, good things will come to you. If you want children, children will come to you. If you want husband, husband will come to you. If you want wife, good wife will come to you. If you want money, money, locate them. You want to travel abroad, abroad, locate them. Are you hearing me? You want to eat good food, good food, locate them. You want connection, connection, locate them. You want peace, peace, locate them. Every good thing, every, reduce it, every good thing, come to Pastor Chris. Wait, wait, wait. Why should he pray this? I'm already angry that some little good things are coming to him and he wants more. Hey, hey, every good thing, come, 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 come to me. Come to me. I welcome good things. I welcome good things. I welcome good things. I welcome it to my house. I welcome it to my ministry. I welcome it. 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 I welcome good pastors. I welcome good members. I welcome them. I welcome partners. I welcome every good thing to me. Let them come to me from east, from west, north and south, from Nigeria, from UK, from America from Canada, from Australia, from Brazil, all the nations of the earth, good things are coming to me. Good things are coming to me. Good things are calling my name. Good things, good men, good women, they are looking for me. They are coming to me. Yes, 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 yes. I welcome you. I welcome you. I welcome you. I welcome you. Somebody help me shout fire. Good things are coming to us. Good things are coming to this ministry. And bad things are leaving us. Bad things are leaving you. Frustration is leaving you. Cancer is leaving you. Pain is leaving you. The man or woman that does not give you peace is leaving you. The one stopping your progress is leaving you. The one angry with you is leaving you. Are you hearing me somebody? Are you hearing me? The one attacking your relationship is leaving you. There is going to be a replacement in your life. Sometimes they say knee replacement, right? That means this one is no more good. We want to put a better one. God is removing things and is bringing back other things to you. Wherever you are in the world, the way God promotes his people is to sometimes subtract all he acts. God's subtraction is a promotion. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? God's subtraction is what? A promotion. There are things God will remove from you. It's a promotion to you, brother, sister. Are you hearing me? There are most of you, there are most of you, you are crying, he left. Ah, he living is a promotion. Because he staying would have killed you. Are you hearing me somebody? There are relationship that God destroyed himself. That was your promotion. Are you hearing me somebody? Thank you. Are you hearing me somebody? There are things you lost. There are contracts you lost. And you are saying, God, why? There are delays that are promotion. To a man, it's called delay. To God, is a promotion. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. It's time for us to rejoice. Because all that's ever happened to you, God planned it. Are you hearing me? Those that mocked you, God planned it. Those that left you, God planned it. Those that attacked you, God planned it. 
I said, God planned it. I said, Jehovah knows about it. I said, God programmed it. It is not by mistake. It is not an error. It is called God's calculation. God calculated it. God projected it. Are you hearing me, somebody? Stop looking at your yesterday. Your yesterday is inside the sea. Your tomorrow is on the ground. Come out from the sea and go and get your tomorrow. Can I tell you something? I don't need my yesterday. Stop reminding me of my yesterday. Yes, I'm the one that failed. I'm not denying it. But I'm no more on the ground. You saw me on the ground, but now I'm no more on the ground. You saw me half broken, but now I'm a happy man. Stop reminding me when I used to be sad. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Stop reminding me when I used to be backward. Are you listening to me? Stop showing me the report card where I failed. Ask me for the report card where I'm succeeding. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? I'm a different person now. I'm seeing my tomorrow now. Level don't change. No be me change and not God do them for me. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Now God do them all. I say now God. No be God. Now you. You get power. You get anointing. Only God can do what no man can do. Are you hearing me, somebody? Did you hear me, somebody? Did you hear me, somebody? I tell you that it's time to rejoice. When I told you that, I'm not joking. The Lord said to me in the office, tell them it's time for them to rejoice. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Can I tell you something? <laughs> those on prayer line, those in the great house, wherever you are, when you get home today, go and get wine. A chilled wine. Open it. Put it inside a cup. Tell yourself, it is time for me to rejoice. Yes, hey. Low it, low it, low it. Tell yourself, I have cried for so long. I don't want to cry again. Tell yourself, I suffer for so long. I don't want suffering again. Tell yourself, I've been down for so long. I don't want to be down again. Tell yourself they have mocked me for so long. I don't want to be mocked again. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to rejoice. Take the glass of wine. Drink it cold. And say, I'm rejoicing from now. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes, sir. No more pain. It's time for me to rejoice. Your mother died crying. Listen, you will live rejoicing. Your father died broke. Hear me, you will live rich. I don't even understand your amen. If there is anyone in your home that lived oppressed, no, you will not live like that. Amen. I saw in the spirit, most of you that were put at a place, you jumped out. Are you hearing me? Say, I'm a voice and not an echo. Say, I'm here and I'm not going back. Say, what stopped my father? We not stop me. Those on prayer line are they saying it? 
will stop others will not stop me say with me i am not who they thought i am i will not sit on the floor of life i will never sit on the floor of life never 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 i arise i grow i arise i grow 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 i arise i rise i rise i rise i rise i rise doors are opening unto me i arise i fly i fly i saw i saw somebody shall fire Isaiah says, Arise and do what? Any man that rises shines. Don't say, Pastor Chris, arise, but don't shine. That is witchcraft. Is it not true? If you are praying for me to rise, I must shine. Anyone that rises must shine. Are you hearing me? Don't tell me that you want me to be at Obodo Yibo and they want me to behave like those in my village. No, 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 no. Are you hearing me? If I'm in America, the weather of America should show on my body. Eba, koto kata, 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 kata. Are you hearing me? If I'm in America, I ought to be American. Are you hearing me, somebody? That is why when you were in the village, you were acting like a village boy, right? Is it not true? A village girl, right? But can I tell you something? Yes, if you have, if you are under the atmosphere of God, you ought to act like God. Eh? Mm -hmm. If you have an altar, how can your life be altered? Eh? Hey! 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 It is time to rejoice. It is time to rejoice. Thank you, Jesus. I know most of you are asking me, what is it? The Lord told me that most of them will start rejoicing. Amen. Those on prayer line, you will start rejoicing. Amen. You've been through battles for a long time. You've cried over the night. It looks as though there is no God in your life. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Let me read a scripture for you. Go to the book of Psalms 102, verse 13. It said, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Pastor Chris Isaac. Upon Thou upon Pastor will arise and have mercy why when they say that demons ask why one he is not qualified why she made a mistake we have her past why no one from the family has gotten to this height these are the questions they are asking you he said for that shall arise and have mercy upon Zion they asked why the answer was given for the time to favor her has come yeah they said time they said time they said time they said time. time to rejoice is here the time to progress is here the time to grow is here the time to be connected is here the time to eat good food is here the time to be financial free is here are you hearing me somebody say it's my time don't jealous me say it's my time don't mock me say it's my time don't envy me say it's my time don't criticize me say it's my time it's my time the lord says it's your hey i say it's my time oh it's my time to do what to rejoice it's your time to be healed your time to be free those umbrella is your time i say is your time in the bible we had penina 
and who? And Hannah, right? Eh? When it was the time for Penina, she gave birth all the children. But Hannah was barren. But when it was time for Hannah, she started with a prophet. He did not get it. <laughs> hey! When is your time? You will start with the best. They use the old force waging to do guy for your father. Is it not true? You will use the latest lessons to pass them. <laughs> hey! Amen. When we talk like this, they say we are Kanoa. But what I'm telling you now doesn't it look like what God can do. Eh? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Your father had no house. You lived in a thatch house. When you build a mansion, is it seen? I am asking you. Say, Lord, give me what will make others to be angry. Lord, bless me. What will make others to envy me? Are you hearing me? Look at me, somebody. Your pastor, Pastor Chris Isaac, I don't want to live an empty life. Are you hearing me? I want God to use me to showcase to the world I can lift a man from nothing to something. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me? So that when I share my testimonies, I can tell them, I started in a church where there was no keyboard, where there was no microphone, where there was no light. I worshipped God, yet I saw God. So I'm not here because of the microphone. I'm not here because of the light. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me? Yes. It is time to rejoice. When the world will be crying, you'll be rejoicing. Because when you pass through pain, they were rejoicing. When you were down, they were laughing. When you had no clothes, they were rejoicing. Amen. When you wore your best, they said it was fake material. Are you hearing me, somebody? As the Lord will bless you, you must do shakara. You did not hear me, somebody? Shakara in the Lord is not seen before God. The Bible says, if any man wants to boast, he said, let us boast in him. The issue is, my boast, is it in him? If it's in him, it's permitted. If it's in him, it's Lego. Are you hearing me? Hey! David said, he prepares a table before me. In the presence. The table was not prepared for them. But before in the presence of my, 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 I have told you, let reduce the way we pray for the enemies to die. When they all die, our celebration will not be sweet. Did you hear me? Are you hearing me? That is why all the time we say, Lord, fight for me, fight for me. God says, son, daughter, you don't know what you are doing. Your celebration will not be sweet if that woman is dead. Are you hearing me? Yes, Let my sir. enemies leave so that can, they can see me celebrate. Oh. There is a dance step I will dance on that day. Are you hearing me? Yes, Are you hearing me? Yes, can sir. I tell you something? Yes, sir. Success is sweet when you make it before those that never imagined that you will make it. Hmm. Are you hearing me? There are most of you, you have not traveled to your village for a long time. Because you don't have what it takes to travel. The Lord will give you what it takes to travel. Amen. Are you hearing me? Pastor Chris, the son of Isaac. My village is filled with witches. Ah, There are some cars witches will be afraid to touch. Is it not true? There are houses witches are afraid to fly. How many times have you heard yes. that witches fly across the White House? 
I'm asking you. I'm asking you. <laughs> How many times there are homes when you sleep on them, bad dream will run away? You don't know? Huh? Because the witches don't know the door. Don't know the exit. Is it not true? May God give you what will threaten Amen. others. Amen. It must happen. I collect, I collect. It must happen. Not when you are very old. It will happen when you are still young. My father, Isaac, used to tell the children then. He said, you want to bless me? Bless me now that I'm strong. You want to give me meat? Give me meat when my teeth is what? Strong. Not when my teeth are falling. He said, Papa, eat. He said, bring it now. Bring it what? Hey, I wish he were still alive at this time strong so that i can say papa eat because the one i gave them was too small that was all i could get are you hearing me somebody are you hearing me but you know my mother christiana isaac anytime i come home i will start dancing from the gate i will say one your man the wife of isaac your son is back do you lack anything she said for where I said, are you afraid? He said, for where? I said, chicken three is here. And we'll take a step and take a step. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Hey! Now she's gone with the Lord. I remember those things. Sometimes I watch the video, I smiled. Are you hearing me, somebody? Thank you, Jesus. Are you hearing me? Why? As a son, I feel fulfilled. I did my path. One time I asked her, is there anything in the world that you want I have not done for you? She said, let me think. She said, nothing. She said, no, not one. Are you hearing me, somebody? He said, you are not owing me anything in this world. Praise God. Are you hearing me? The food she eats monthly, we buy it from here and send so the money we send to her she does not use it to buy food i mean i sent bishop sent all of us sent did you hear me somebody not what she's getting from are you hearing me in short when we travel last to see her in the mortuary the th the food stuff she see had in the house is what we used to cook and we ate as kings i mean everyone that followed me and we share the remaining Praise God. Are you hearing me, somebody? Can I tell you something? Mothers, you will live to eat the fruits of your labor. Before the fathers get angry, the fathers will say, what about us? Fathers, fathers, you will live to eat the fruits of your labor. Are you hearing me, somebody? Time to rejoice. We have suffered so much. We've been through a lot. It is time for the Lord to remember us. Mothers, fathers, you've cried all through the night. You borrowed money and they were laughing at you. Sometimes you didn't go to the function because they had no clothes to wear. You told them you were busy. You know you were not busy. There was no clothes. Because you know that your mocker was there waiting for you. You didn't want to be mocked and be cajoled. That is why you did not go to the place you like to go. But can I tell you something? God will raise your children to wipe away your tears. Are you hearing me? I saw my mother cry. I saw my mother sold her clothes. In short, the brother told me, when we went to see the brothers, the brother said, first, your mother said, told us that we should thank you, you and your siblings, for taking care of her. He said, first, leave the death. We want to tell you, thank you for taking care of our sister. Are you hearing me, somebody? Are you hearing me? He said, we know you are crying, but remember it's our sister. Praise God. So if she told us that she was happy, please reduce the way you cry. Can I pray for you, somebody? You will not suffer and die while suffering. 
The beauty of life is when you are suffer for a while, you also rejoice forever. This will be your portion. I say it will be your portion. And I'm praying for you, the man or woman that is saying you will suffer and not eat. Hey! Hey! When they will think about it, may stone fall against them from heaven. Those on prayer land, can they hear me? The man or woman that will say that your children will not grow before you. I pray they will not live to see their own children grow. Each and every one of you, you will live to eat the fruits of your labor. When last did you go to shopping mall to shop for yourself? You've forgotten yourself. Don't even know your own size because of children. And the man or woman is saying you should not live to eat the fruits of the labor. Because they are angry with your husband. Because they are angry with your father. Because they are angry with your brother. When they will say it, when they will go on a journey, they will not return. Listen to me. Any leg that is walking in the secret against you, may they jump into a ditch. Amen. Can I tell you something? Even men, when they hear us like this, they said, why are they praying? Are they not pastors? You know what they will quote? Jesus said, pray for your enemy. Right? Eh? You know why they say so? So that you will, not, you will stop praying against them. Evil men, they, they don't like hearing Holy Ghost fire. Are you hearing me? They don't want you to pray in the night. Because you are disturbing them. But they will hear our voice until they go down the grave. Anybody pursuing you, Holy Ghost? Anyone against your children, Holy Ghost? Anyone rising against your success, Holy Ghost? I say, Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! There is a testimony I want God to duplicate on this altar. Do you know it? The testimony of Miliki is putting me inside fire. Father, in the name of Jesus, as that man went down the grave crying, Miliki is putting me inside fire. I'm praying for you, kings and queens, anywhere you are in the world. Are you in the great house? Are you on prayer land? Are you on Facebook? Is there anyone tormenting your family? I pray as they be going down, they'll be praying that you are putting them inside fire. Inside fire. Inside fire. Inside fire. Church, listen to me. I don't like us to be a church without power. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? You know why the evil men are progressing? When they touch us, we say, God bless you. It's not an answer. And then they are doing worse. Anyone that touches you by mistake, fire will correct them by blinding their eyes. Mommy G, they say, Baba, Miliki is in America. Miliki is not aware that you are sick. He said, uh -uh, Miliki is putting me inside fire. They say, Baba, Miliki does not know that you are sick. He said, eh, eh, Miliki is putting me inside fire. Yes, sir. They picked call and called Miliki. See, Baba o is calling your name that you are putting him inside fire. Miliki said, fire. I have an altar where I shall fire every day. They said, which altar? He said, join the prayer line. And once you join the prayer line, Pastor Chris comes and says, somebody shout, Fire! <laughs> Hey, Baba went with this evil by saying, Miliki is sitting me in church. He started by saying, He started by saying, Miliki is putting me inside fire. Fire, oh, fire. Miliki is putting me inside fire. They said, Baba, what is it now? Miliki is putting me inside fire. Oh, fire, fire. We say, Ah, Miliki is putting me inside fire. I said, Miliki is putting me inside fire. <laughs> and that was the end. Can I prophesy? Kefele, Grakuna Hisa, 
Elehinda Kunde Sikada. I come where you are, to your father's house, to your home. Anyone that says you will not rest will rest in pieces. Anyone that says you will not rest will rest in pieces. Any arrow projected against you, we say back to back to stand up. Back to stand up. Back to stand up. Back to stand up. In the night, back to back to stand up. In the afternoon, back to back to stand up. In the morning, back to stand up. In the water, back to stand up. In the forest, back to stand up. At the T junction, back to. Early in the morning, back to when they're traveling, back to we say, anyhow, they do it back to when they wear masquerade, back to when they go to Enugu, back to when they go to the north, back to they go to India, back to when they carry a pot, back to when they take cola, not back to when they take bitter cola, back to. When they carry wine, back to. When they speak words, back to. When they carry chalk, back to. When they enter court, back to. When they travel, back to. When they sleep, back to. Everything they do, we say back to. Wait, wait, it's not over. When they take your picture from Facebook and say, Baba, take knife, we say, back to Santa. Hold on. Hold on. Reduce it. When they buy a casket and put your picture there, listen, their own picture will enter into the... Yes, yes. Back to Santa. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to yes, me? Sir, yes, sir. Yes, Something sir. is happening. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Power is changing yes, hands. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Fire is burning. Yes, sir. We have an altar. Yes. Our lives yes. cannot be altered. Yes, you touch me by mistake. Fire will correct you. Yes, sir. May fire correct what is wrong in your family. Amen. May fire correct what is going on where you are right now. Amen. Hey. Hey. Amen. hey. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever seen a lion that does not roar? Eh? Never. Have you ever seen a dog that does not bark? A brand new sukata. We roar in the spirit. They have started running and they will never look back. Yes, sir. And so shall it be. Lift your hands above your head. Lift your hands above your head. See yourself in your house. See yourself in your mother's kitchen. Just close that eye. See yourself in that dream. Go and fight back right now. Yes. Don't look around. Go back to where you lost. Where you were defeated. Go back to that thing. Go back now. See yourself in your father's house where you were born. See yourself where you grew up. See yourself where you made a mistake and correct it now. Walk away from that pain. Walk away from that sorrow. See, let God take you at a point where you were attacked. Where you lost destiny. Where you lost glory. Where you lost husband. Where you lost a child. Go back there now. Summon the spirit back. Summon the force back. Call them. Say I'm here. Take your key. Take your key. Take your key. Deliver your husband. Deliver your wife. Deliver yourself. Where you say yes, say no now. Hey, Makala, kill the serpent. Kill that serpent now. 
the serpent that beat you kill it right now the monster that place anytime you are fear will come to you that dream when you remember it you are afraid go back there 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 life is spiritual go back there brother go back there don't be distracted this is your moment the power of the Holy Ghost 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 go with them right now fight for them now yes 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 you woke up sickness started yes now it's leaving your body now it's leaving it's leaving go back to your house let God show you that spot where there is evil see it now go back to your house all eyes closed it is time to be spiritual fight back come on is there any witchcraft meeting in your place go to the meeting right now tell them i am in your meeting to scatter you join their meeting now it doesn't make you a witch join their meeting to scatter them right now is there anyone holding your blessing in your father's house tell them right now today is over i remove you 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 you evil woman you evil witch you evil man i remove you i remove you i remove you i remove you fight 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 don't be distracted don't be distracted don't be distracted those on prayer line is your husband dying Go and bring your husband back. Is your sister dying? Go and bring your sister back. Yes, do it now. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. All you need is to be focused. Did they give you medical report? Change it. Change it. Change it. Hey, na 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 what defeated your father what is the shame your brother suffered go now and stop the shame go now and stop the shame go now stop the shame stand in your father's compound say i will never stop like my father i will never die like my father what my father could not do i will do the bridge he could not build i will build what he could not stop i will stop i am not like my mother do something different right now power of god is upon her hold her hold her Look at the ocean. Yes, yes. Kalaba, the power of God is here. He's here. God is touching her. Langa da gada ba gada 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 gada. Hey mama mama. Hey mama mama. Hey mama mama mama. Hey mama mama. Hey mama mama. Come on. Oh yeah yeah. She's closing her ear. Jesus. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Yes. Yes. The power of God. Touch her more. Touch her more. Yeah. Yes. 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 Your deliverance is now. It's now. One, two, three. Out of her. Out. 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 Come on out. 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 Fire of God. Fire. Fire. Fire where you are. Fire. Fire of God. Fire. Fire on your feet. Fire on your feet. Fire. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, mama, mama. Hey, shaka, ta, da, da, da. Hey, shaka, da. Deliverance is going on. Deliverance is going on. Wherever you are right now, are you tormented? Be free. Let the power of God hit you. The power of God hit your family. Eva shakata. Ema lo kendo sika. Ema ina 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 una ire re. Eba choka takara baki ana una na. Ema kato de de baki na 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 What stopped your father? How is your family? how are your brothers how is your husband why are you like this you can change it now jesus jesus One, two, your deliverance now. Out, 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 out. 
Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you. We were stopped. Your mother will not stop you. You are free. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Landa Kata Mashika. Yema. Yeshala Shinana. Hala. Yeha. Yela. Shinala. Yeha. Yeha. Yema. Yesha Gala. Open your palm, everybody. Open your palm. The key you lost in the dream. Call it back. The key you lost. That key you lost. Most of you lost house key. That is why you don't have a house. Most of you lost marital key. That is why you're not married. You lost a key. Call it back. Call it back. My key. Come back. Yesterday, didn't you hear a testimony on prayer line? There was a document. And somebody was looking for it. And prophecy came. That go back to where you were looking for the document, you will see it. She said she went back, she didn't see it. She went again. She said the document was there looking at her. She said, but I have ransacked everywhere. The question is, who brought the document back? She said she would have paid 600 dollars. But God said no. Prophecy cancelled. Six hundred dollars and gave her the document back. I don't know what you lost. You are recovering them back. I don't know what mocked your parents. You will mock that thing. Can you go on your knees? Can you just go to your knees? I'm going to your knees. Whatever you are, can you just kneel down? Can you kneel down? Can you kneel down, somebody? Can you kneel down? Talk to God, somebody. Talk to God. Whatever you want to tell him. Just go on your knees. Wherever you are, just go on your knees. Tell God that you've restored what I lost in ignorance. Lord, you've restored my life. From today, I will rejoice. Talk to him, somebody. Father, you've restored our lives. Kneel down, everybody, wherever you are, except you are driving. Except you're on the road. If you're in the house, go on your knees. Lord! Lord, look at your church. Look at your people. All over the world. Yes. Some have lost hope. Some lost health. My Father, mercy. Mercy, mercy on prayer line, mercy in the great house, mercy Lord, mercy Lord, mercy. These ones have been attacked by the devil, mercy. Some of them they have lost joy. They can't remember last time they, they were happy. They can't remember last time they had peace. My father, only you can change the situation. My Father, my God, my Maker, look at them on prayer line. Look at them in the great house. Look at them, they look like sheep without a shepherd. You are a great shepherd, Father. My Father, my Father, wipe away their tears. Take away their pain. Take away their sorrow. I know they are not qualified. Father, don't use their sins against them, Lord. Let your mercy, 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 mercy. Jesus, mercy. Somebody tell the Lord to have mercy upon you. Tell him, Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Every day I ask him for mercy. Every day I say, mercy on me, Lord. Mercy, 
Messi. 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy on me. Lord have mercy. Most of them have suffered for a long time. Every year suffering. Every year pain. Every year sorrow. Most of them lost two children in one year. Some of them lost husband. Some of them lost health. Jehovah mercy. Show them you are God. Show them your mercy. Yes. Yes, Lord. Some have made a mistake that they cannot correct. Some have missed it. Lord, mercy. Some we are misled. Some we are deceived by friends. Father, mercy. Mercy. You will have mercy upon whom you will have mercy. You say the Lord will arise and have mercy. That is what you told us in Psalm 102 verse 13. Mercy upon my family. Mercy upon my children. Mercy upon the great house. Mercy upon the global church. Mercy upon everyone hearing me. Mercy upon everyone seeing me. Everyone joining this service online. Mercy. 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 Forgive, Lord. Forgive, Lord. Forgive, Lord. Forgive us. Forgive us. If you count our sin, you know that no one will stand. Even the cloud, the sky is not pure before you. My Father, mercy. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. 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 Follow me. Mercy. 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 Mercy, you will have the mercy of me. Mercy, mercy, you will have mercy on us. Mercy, mercy, you will rise with your mercy. Mercy, Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Somebody shall fire. Church, rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. What you have not seen in your life before will start happening now. I tell you. I tell you. That day, Hannah came to church. Hannah ran to the altar and began to cry. And began to cry. Eli, Eli said to her, why are you always drunk? Leave the church. I don't want to see you again. She did not answer like uh, a deaconess. Why? She said, my master. She did not say, I'm dying. She did not say, it's killing me. I'm dying, it's killing me. She did not say so. You see what she said? Did she say, I'm dying, I'm killing me. It's killing me. You see what she said? I'm asking you, church. Prayer line, you don't want to answer me. Did Hannah say, it's killing me. It's killing me. I'm dying. And yet, huh? did Hannah say, it's killing me. I'm dying. And yet, Hannah had life to argue for two hours. I'm asking you, if it's killing you, will it argue for two hours? I'm dying. You're still alive. Hannah said, Hannah said, my Lord, I'm not drunk. My priest, my priest, I'm not drunk. My priest, my prophet, Pastor Chris, I'm not drunk. Don't ask them for me to leave the church, please. I'm pouring my heart to God. Don't misunderstand me, sir. And the man looked at her. And say, if you say you're not drunk, because I don't believe you, may the Lord give you what you want. She said, thank you. Eli said, take her away from the church. Lock her out on the prayer line. She was not angry. Is it not true? She was not even a deaconess. So 
Are you hearing me? If she was a deaconess, ha, Eli would have known her and said, Deaconess Hannah, is it not true? What is the problem? But Eli said, Woman! Because he never knew her name. Woman. He addressed her as a woman. Woman, what is the problem? Why are you always drunk? Eh? She did not say, Exclaim me. She did not say, Dying. But she was the one really dying. Is it not true? It was the one really killing her. But she didn't say it. Praise God. She honored her prophet. She honored the altar. And she said, My Lord, it's not killing me. I'm not dying. Praise God. She said, I want to leave. I don't want to die. Yes, sir. I don't want to die. I didn't come here to die. Yes, sir. I didn't log in to die for it to kill me. Amen. You see, most of you should understand prophets. I'm a prophet, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? A major prophet, sir. When you talk about apostle, you think about like our daddy apostle, Suleiman apostle, Michael Orobo, all of them. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm not even a prayer warrior. Yes, Praise sir. God. You talk about prayer warriors, you go to, to a man of God, Pastor Jerry Aziz, and the rest of them. Me, I'm a seer. Praise yes. God. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? And we are strange. We are very, very very strange yes, sir. praise god Hallelujah. very strange Hallelujah. you see how the message i've entered is killing me yes sir because eli eli did not say you are dying now praise god i'm here to save you not to kill you yes sir i'm here to pray for you not to kill you yes sir are you hearing me somebody yes sir hmm? yes. thank god i used to finish preaching before you give offering so that you will not say that I collected offering before I preach. Before you give offering, you might have heard me. So that if you want to pay, mm -hmm, you don't want to pay. Mm -hmm, the Lord will build his church. church. I told Pastor Joy from the one. I said, listen to me. The day you decide to leave the ministry, God will bring another joy. You know why? I know the scripture. The Lord will build his church and the gates of hell will not stop it. If the gate of hell cannot stop the church, who is a man to stop the prayer line? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Nobody, sir. Eh? No one. Mother. Eh? Never! 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 Can I tell you something? I'm a spiritual Dibia. Yes, sir. Are you aware? Yes, sir. I'm a spiritual Dibia. Yes, sir. I'm a spiritual. Yes, sir. Somebody say spiritual Dibia. Spiritual Dibia. Mm? Call it again. Eh? Uh, Somebody shout fire. Fire! I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. Yes, sir. Even those who are angry with me right now, I'm praying for you too. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't like me, Nda like me. You don't like me, Mommy Chi like me. You don't like me. Divine likes you me. You can't change it. They call me the best daddy in the ah! world. Is that... Amen. <laughs> How can you love my prophecy? You don't like my anointing. You don't like the way I do things. Amen. Your lifestyle, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. My lifestyle, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> hey! Ah! Hey! Hey! When tiger come before you, open your eyes and say, Hey! Ah! Are you hearing me, somebody? Sure. Are you hearing me? Yes, We've gone too far. We can't return. Never. We can't. No going back. No going back. Wait. When the ministry was only in my hand, I could not go back. What I have now, Bishop Pastor Damian has Aya. it. Mommy has it. Oh, Ivan has, has it. Yes. Pastor this has it. Yes. Pastor Joy has it. Ah. Eh? Chairman J. Mono has it. You Everybody has it. Is it not true? Yes, sir. It's contagious. Eh? 
I say, ah. Uh, hey. Ah. Hey. 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 I know what in I carry you. I know, I know, I know. Hey. Hey. Ah. You see, when you go to mountain on fire, you know you must pray by force. Is it not true? Whether you like it or not. Huh? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whether that the whether that you do choir is there or not, you know you must pray. And one of the prayer is you must fall and die. Is it not true? Yes. Whether you like it or not, you yes. must fall and and die. Yes. Not fall and survive. Once you fall, you must die. Is it not true? No, no. Is it not true? Yes. You enter yes. where my daddy that Adebo is. You will hear somebody Holy do what? Shout, somebody shout hallelujah. You must shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Hold on. Whether you like hallelujah or not, you must shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. You shout. Wait, I never finish. You go to my daddy, Chris, you hear glory. You must shout glory. Is it not true? Yes, sir. You must hear, you must say, I know who I am. I know who I am. Is it not true? Is it not true? Yes, sir. You hear somebody, you stay there. Is it not true? Yes, yes, yes. Is it not true? Yes. You go to our father, Apostle Suleiman, you hear as I begin to pray. Is it not true? Yes, sir. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to, to us, answer. Yes, is it not true? Yes, sir. When you go to Omega Fire, there must be a man to pray. Yes, sir. When you, come, to answer. When you come to their boy, Pastor Chris Isaac, uh -huh. you must hear, I have... An altar. An altar. My <laughs> life cannot <laughs> be altered. Hey, 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 I'm not a spiritual orphan. Uh -uh. Are you hearing me, somebody? Never. Yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Listen to me. Your celebration has started. It has started. Your it joy has started. started. Yes, sir. And so it is. If you believe it, somebody shall fire 21 times as we close the service.
Hallelujah. I decree God's blessings upon that offering in your hands. I decree increase upon that tithe in your hand. I decree that your seed will grow and bear fruits that will remain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Choir. taking over me Father I depend on you I've got confidence in you in you oh Lord I put my trust in your love has taken over me Father I depend on you I've got confidence in you in you oh Lord I put my trust in Oh Lord, you cover me. On yeah, yeah. Oh. oh Lord, you cover me. Yeah, yeah. I am. Say yes, you covered me. Yeah, yeah. I am. Oh Lord, you cover me. Jesus, for all you have done and all you will do. Jesus, hey, say, sing Jesus, take Jesus, 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 Whenever I call, you answer. Your blessings they flow like shower. I cannot describe that all you will do, Jesus. Hey, a boogie waka. Hey, somebody help me sing it, Jesus. A boogie waka. Sing it, Jesus. Hey, all you have done. Jesus, hey, I call you, I will medicate you, I'm 
Go ahead and prepare yourself. You are coming here to worship God in your dialect. Just lead us in worship. Lead us in praise. The one you want to do, we are here for you. Mommy, God bless you, ma. Lead us in praise. Yes. Lead us in worship. Yes, ma. In your own local dialect. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Ibos, are you ready? Can I start with you? Ibos, are you here? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ibo, are you here? Where are they? We will not carry Where are they? Where are they? Ah. Benue people, where are you? Eh, where are you? Obrigado, Zipembeza, Matim. Okay, when are you here? Calaba people, Calaba people, are you here? Where yeah. are you now? Make some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise. Calaba, are you ready? Yeah. You know, I, I have called on the Gede, they are not ready. I have called on Nipo, they are not ready. Calaba, are you ready? 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 Yes, yes, I'm not to you. Can you, can you, can you come and join us? Calaba, come on, don't carry us. Can you
bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Put your hands together, body. Put your hands together. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Bless you, Lana. Over to you. Um, we are still singing uh, worship. Okay. That's it from Inge Dabi. God bless you. God bless you. I'm Kalelo Yaya. Ori kam kube funyala nyuhika. I'm Kalelo Yaya. Elai nyuhe.
Most of you, you are walking like this. Now you say I should come. Now you say I should sing. Now 
Now you say I should come. I am here today. I want to sing. I am here right now. I want to pray. Now she said I should come. I should come and sing. Now she said I should come. I should come and dance. Now she said I should come. I should come and dance. I want to sing. I want to dance. I want to shout. I want to sing. Kaja Somebody shall fire, 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 
say fire, oh, fire, 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 oh. fire. When we are traveling, fire. when we are walking fire. in our office fire. in the great town, we say fire, oh, 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 we shall fire, oh, we shall fire, oh, whatever we are, we shall fire, oh. we are we say fire in the great house fire, fire. on facebook fire. fire in our father's house fire, fire. on prayer line fire fire oh fire fire oh fire fire oh fire, fire. 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 when we are traveling fire. when we are coming back fire. when we are flying fire. anywhere we go fire. anywhere we are fire fire oh fire fire oh fire, fire. 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 That is what I have done. Yes, now you are telling me to close. Let me close. Somebody shall fire. fire. May God bless and keep you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
this week will be good for you. I tell you, it will be good for you in the name of Jesus Christ. And so it is. May we share the grace in fellowship. Want to go? Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit is with us now forevermore. Amen. Those who